Good evening. I am Dr. Julie Wilkinson, Assistant Principal over Curriculum and 12th graders. We welcome you this evening. We appreciate you coming out. I am stepping in tonight to assist our principal, Mr. Franklin, who was unable to be here tonight, unfortunately. Welcome to Chandler High School for tonight's curriculum night, and special welcome to all of our future Wolves, the class of 2026, which is about amazing to say. <laughs> For those of you that are out there, how many of you this is your first child who will be going to high school? Big hands up high. Good luck. <laughs> Definitely a long four years, but a very worthy and well worth it kind of four years. So we, we wish you well as you start this voyage. How about those of you that like, no, you're an old hat at this. You've done this deal. Very nice. Very nice. You've survived. Hey, we're, we're, we're very pleased that you are still coming out for this. Thank you very much. At this time, please stand and remove your hats for the presentation of the colors by the Chandler High School Junior ROTC under the direction of Colonel Jones and Master Sergeant Goodson and remain standing for the national anthem performed by the Chandler High School Troublemakers under the direction of Miss Wendy Ambriana, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by our Vice President, Student Body Vice President, Dakota Reigns. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Junior ROTC troublemakers and Miss Reigns. Excellent job. We appreciate this contribution by these excellent groups and excellent representation at Chandler High School. We also want to acknowledge and thank the Chandler Band under the direction of Miss Sarah Bowerman, as you heard them playing as you were coming in. Um, you thought you were attending a pep rally, maybe. Um, we also, of course, had the cheerleaders out there under the direction of Anna E. in a very spirited entry as you all came in. We also want to, of course, thank the string quartet that was playing here this evening under the direction of Ms. Daniel Kennedy, providing us some very nice music as we all entered this evening. I also want to introduce some of our administration that is here this evening with us. Um, Ann Templeton is our, one of our freshman administrators. Ann's down here in front, of course, giving a little wave. And then we also have Mr. Luke Hickey present this evening. Luke is also one of our freshman administrators here at Chandler High. 
We also have Mr. Jim Culver, who is our athletics director, as well as Renee Clancy, who is our dean of students. Both of those administrators are covering athletic events this evening. Um, you might want to take notice, too, that Mr. Culver will be hosting an athletic night, uh, information night for incoming eighth graders. So that's something you might want to be looking for, uh, for that information. Tonight you have had the opportunity to visit our department chairs and teachers and ask questions and gather literature to look over as your student fills out their requests for next year's classes. Our counselors will be going out to the junior high schools next week to discuss next year's courses and options and students will be given a green form to fill out. So be on the lookout for that. Counselors will return to the junior high schools to pick up the forms the following week. So you will have a little bit of time to look at those options with your student and give some thought to some of the options. If your student is not currently attending a Chandler school, open enrollment for the 22-23 school year is underway. Please check our curriculum website at www.chscurriculumnight.com and look for the enrollment slash registration tab at the top for steps to open enrollment. Now we would like to highlight several of the programs that we offer at Chandler High, the School of Champions. Chandler High's mission statement in partnership with parents and the community to provide students with rigorous educational experiences to develop the knowledge, skills, and attitudes needed to succeed in an ever-changing world. And if that doesn't say it all right there, not sure what does, because it definitely is an ever-changing world that we see almost daily at this point. So LED. So in Mr. Franklin's vision for Chandler High School, we are looking at Chandler High School as a legacy, a school that is a legacy in the community. We are a school of excellence. And we are a school of diversity. And this is the rich kind of diversity that makes Chandler High School what it is and makes Chandler High School a school of choice in the district and in the community and in the uh, surrounding areas and the state. School of choice, serving the Chandler community and so many more, as we've said. We have approximately 3,500 students and we are growing. We hosted this year the largest freshman class that Chandler High School has ever seen. Um, and we are busting at the seams a little bit, but it is definitely a good problem to have, and we are excited to see that growth continue. We are a big school, but we are a school with huge opportunities, as you have kind of noticed out there as you were perusing around. Definitely our athletic programs, our clubs and activities, our career and technical education. We have chickens at our curriculum night. I'm not sure who else does, but uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Um, history of Chandler High, we are 108 years of excellence at Chandler High. We are the oldest high school in Arizona, still being held in the same building. Our students attend classes in Old Main, which of course you see from Arizona Avenue with the big pillars and just beautiful. Our kids are still attending classes in that building as they were when it first opened, which is absolutely amazing. It's such a very unique, neat thing that our kids get to have. Legacy of excellence. We are a nine-time A-plus school of excellence. We are nationally recognized in the United States by the Washington Post and the U.S. News and World Report. We are ranked number one most diverse high school by niche.com. We are definitely known for our international baccalaureate program and we definitely draw in students for that very program which you will hear more about this evening. The class of 2021 earned over $38 million in scholarships. We are, of course, the School of Champions. As you can see from some of our photos here, of course, we have had since 2012, 24 state titles. We had 55 student athletes who signed a letter of intent in the school year 2021. We were the 2021 state champions in football and in boys and girls track. We are state champions in FFA. 14 members of the class of 21 enlisted in the US Armed Forces, which we are extremely proud of. And we also do have still on our staff, Arizona's 2020 Teacher of the Year, Sarah Weifels. 
We have more than 90 clubs on our campus for extracurricular activities for your students to choose from, which of course these are just but a sampling of. So many, many opportunities for your students to get involved, which you will hear a little bit more about as we continue this evening. We are a school of academic excellence. Academic excellence is our priority. The programs that we house at Chandler High support that very vision. We have 80 plus IB, AP, AVID, and dual enrollment courses that we offer at Chandler High with many opportunities for your students to earn credit uh, for college before they even walk out the doors and have that as an opportunity as they move forward. CHS graduation requirements, you did pick up some course catalogs out front. Now, unfortunately, the course catalogs for this year did not come in yet. Of course, supply chain issues hit everybody. So we are anticipating those course catalogs to come in very shortly, and we hope to have those when our counselors go out to the junior highs. However, inside that cover, there is a um, QR code that you can link to to get to the current 22-23 course catalog that is uh, housed on the website, on CUSD website. So definitely take a look at that. Um, you will find in that course uh, catalog the graduation requirements. Now, 22 credits to graduate from Chandler Unified School District. You should definitely pay attention to the foreign language requirements should your student be university bound because you will need to take two years of a foreign language should your student be university bound. So just something to kind of pay attention to and note. Now, one of the things that Mr. Franklin is working on and uh, wants to bring into Chandler High School as a vision for Chandler High is to focus specifically on our ninth grade students with the Freshman School of Success. The vision here is to create a school within a school um, and a feel that is a more personalized experience for freshmen. Students are teamed with innovative core curriculum teachers in the Freshman School of Success and will be learning the CHS fund foundational principles to maximize their educational success within this Freshman School of Success. Now, something that is coming only to Chandler High School that we are very, very excited about, and it is happening within a couple of weeks, actually. We have been selected by Dell and Intel to become a one-to-one -one school. So all of our students are going to be receiving laptops through Dell and Intel and that partnership, and every student will be checked out a laptop, and that is something that we will be continuing on into next year as well. So this is just, again, this is being piloted through Chandler High, incredibly exciting, and something that we are very, very fortunate to be the recipients of and very exciting for our students. So we're looking forward to many different things that we will do with that one-to-one -one technology in and outside of the classroom. So very, very neat thing that's coming just for us. Now the middle school registration schedule, just so that you kind of have an idea of when your child should be bringing home that green form you want to be on the lookout for. Uh, Anderson Junior High School, our counselors will be visiting Anderson January 18th and then returning on the 24th to collect that form. Um, so that we can uh, register your kiddos. Willis Junior High, January 19th, and then returning on the 27th, and then Bogle Junior High, January 26th. So just kind of uh, noting those dates and uh, being, again, on the lookout for that green form that your kids will come home with so you can assist in making some choices for um, their courses as they enter their freshman year. Now, this is Mr. Franklin, so I wouldn't say that he exactly looks like that, but... Um, <laughs> We did have a photo of him a couple slides back, but definitely everything Chandler High School. Take your phone out, take a picture. This is the place for everything. So if you um, want to follow us, of course, on Twitter, um, we definitely have some athletic postings that we will put out there. Mr. Franklin at Educator Franklin, he's got several things that he will post there. Um, you can follow us with the Wolves. You can follow us at Stugo. And then Scruffy, our mascot, has his own Twitter as well. So you can uh, follow Scruffy as well in his adventures. Um, you also would be very, very uh, wise to sign up for our Wolf Bites uh, newsletter, e-newsletter that comes out every Monday. This is the information, all the information of everything that's happening at Chandler High School every week. So definitely a one, wonderful, fantastic source of information that uh, you might want to get yourself signed up for. All right, so International Baccalaureate. We are very fortunate to have a wide variety of programs and offerings at Chandler High, as you've kind of seen. We are the only high school in Chandler Unified to feature the International Baccalaureate program. 
Would you join me in welcoming Ms. Laura Helt, one of our IB coordinators and the coordinator for our middle years program, to give you some information on our IB program. All right, good evening. I'm here speaking for the um, whole IB program. I am partnered with Courtney Kemp and Jackie Hartrick. Um, so I will be presenting on all three programs. Um, I spoke to many of you in the foyer. Um, so the main program that I oversee is the middle years program. This is gonna be the program students can be in their freshman and sophomore year. Now for me, when I chose to come to Chandler High as a teacher, I taught in the state of Iowa and I was in a middle years program school and I wanted to come to a school that also offered that. So that's why I chose to come to Chandler. So I'm really excited to talk about this program because it's very open to all of our students on campus. The one great thing about IB is it's very inclusive. We want all students to participate. So what they need to do is they need to take one honors class, either their freshman or sophomore year. Many of our students take multiple honors courses. Second, um, they have to take a world language, right? If they're a student who's tracked for university, right, they need those two years, they get them done their freshman, sophomore year. Um, the other thing they will take is a personal project that's throughout their sophomore year. They work with all of us coordinators throughout the year. They have a mentor. It's totally doable and the students get to pick whatever they'd like to study. So it's really cool for them to really get to dive into something they're interested in. And the main difference is that they do have to take a social studies course their sophomore year, which is not a Chandler Unified requirement, but we do have a lot of different elective options and we do suggest the econ government class, but Chandler High is really lucky that we're getting a few more social studies electives. So any of those requirements would work. So that's kind of our first step on the road. If students want to continue in our program, our diploma program is our most rigorous program on campus. Students are in six IB courses and they do have to test in all those courses. They can actually graduate with an international baccalaureate diploma on top of their Chandler Unified. Um, also in this program, they're required to take four years of world language. We also have our career program. So this is for students who are really focused on a career. We have one of the best CTE programs, I would say in the state offering so many great opportunities for our students. So for those students who want to challenge themselves and take IB, they can take two IB courses and focus in a career and still graduate with that extra diploma. So they get a diploma from International Baccalaureate and Chandler Unified. Um, and this has no language requirement, which I think is a good thing to note. You'll notice through all three programs, we focus on volunteer and community service. So each of these three programs require students to get out in that community, we also offer a lot of options for students to volunteer with us, and we've even taken students out to the, um, this fall we took them out, and in the spring we're gonna take a big group to do more volunteering together. Um, the course program, this is for students who just wanna take IB courses and get the certificate. So here we have tons of options for students who wanna be in our International Baccalaureate program. And here is the many list of courses we offer. These are mainly junior, senior year but students can test and get college credit. And then finally, the careers we offer here at Chandler High, we have quite a few of them. So if your student is really driven to one of these careers, I really suggest the career program because they do get that extra diploma and it's really great for all our students to challenge themselves. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Of our many goals, we are focused on providing much in the way of support and intervention for freshmen. One such opportunity along those lines is our AVID program. I'd like to introduce Ms. Heather Dyke, our AVID coordinator, to speak about our AVID program. Hello, good evening. My name is Heather Dyke and uh, welcome to all of you. I've been teaching here at Chandler High School for 22 years. Um, and this is my first year as the AVID site coordinator, so I'm excited to to share some information with you guys about this amazing program. So what is AVID? So AVID at Chandler High is considered both a ninth to 12th grade elective class that they can take all four years in high school, but it's more than that. It's also a school-wide set of research-based instructional practices to improve success for all students. Um, AVID students are capable of completing college prep curriculum and have a strong desire to attend college. The AVID curriculum is designed to help students fulfill their potential, academic instruction, tutorial support, and motivational activities to help keep each student on track. So AVID is a nationwide program, it's an acronym, and it stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination. 
So what is the AVID elective? So this is again a class that they can opt to take and get an elective credit for that class. Um, in the elective, students learn organizational skills, they learn study skills, right? Um, they work on critical thinking, asking probing questions. We do something each week called a tutorial process where they have to bring a question that they have from their content area classes. Maybe they're struggling or have a question in geometry or in social studies and they, they have to do some pre-work. They have to think through okay, I'm, I'm kind of stuck on this concept. What do I know and what do I not know? What do I need help with? And we call that narrowing it down to your point of confusion. And then they get into groups and they work together as a team to help solve each other's points of confusion. Uh, we also do a lot of enrichment and motivational activities because we want to keep these kids motivated and keep their eyes on the prize, keep them thinking about where they want to be after high school and what they want to do with their futures. So I'm not going to read all of these, but these are some of the themes that we cover in that AVID, AVID elective. Um, again, some of them are repeated year to year, and some of them are specific to the year that they're in. Um, but just to highlight a couple of them, we do a lot of college exploration. Let's do some research and find out what colleges are available so we can have the kids start to think what might be the best fit for me. A lot of career exploration, so they have an idea what career might be the best path for them. Uh, again, we work on those note-taking skills, taking good notes. That's a skill that's really important in college. Uh, binder checks on a regular basis to help make sure that they're staying organized. Um, and goal setting, scholarship research, that's going to happen a lot their juniors and senior year. So an AVID student, what does an AVID student look like? So first of all, they have to be a student with academic potential. AVID is not a remedial program, so if you know, if we have a student that's, that's struggling to pass their classes, AVID's just not the right program for them. We have other programs to help them, but AVID is for students that, with support, could excel in college-level work. Um, they usually get high to average test scores between a 2.0 and 3.5 GPA, although a lot of my AVID kids have higher than a 3.5. Um, college potential with support, the desire and determination to be college-bound. Typically, they might be the first in their family to attend college. That doesn't have to be the case. That's not always the case. But a lot of our kids, um, they are what we call or not miss, underrepresented in college. We want to bring those kids up that have potential to do well. They just need help with the structure and support and those skills to, to, to tackle that rigorous curriculum. Okay. Um, so here, whoop, let me go back. So here's some pictures and then I'm gonna be done. Um, we do a lot of team building activities. Like I said, we wanna build that avid family feeling. So we do a lot of team challenges, um, games, interactions, because we want every avid student to feel like that is their family. That's their safe place to go to. And we all encourage each other and support each other in that class. So those are some of the fun things that we've done. Um, we also do college tours already this year. We took a group of students up to Flagstaff and toured Northern Arizona University. We went to Phoenix and toured Grand Canyon University. We try and hit all the major universities and community college here in, um, here in Arizona. As I mentioned, we do the weekly tutorial process where they have to bring a question to their group. It's a very structured process to make sure that they're using their time wisely. It's not just a free study session. They all have to do pre-work, which is graded, and they have to present their question and, and help each other through their, their points of confusion. We also do a lot of custom, uh, community service and give kids an opportunity to earn those community service hours and give back to the community, canned food drive, feed my starving children, things like that. And we also have an AVID club. You heard about our AVID club. So the AVID club is not a requirement for the class, um, but it is a fun extra thing for, to, for kids to get involved. One of my favorite things they did this year is they did a Bob Ross painting party. And they brought in canvases and everybody painted along with Bob Ross. It was super fun. So um, if you think that AVID is the right fit for you, if you're a student in here or for your student, um, the applications, we have applications at our table out in the foyer of the CCA. So feel free to pick up an application uh, and get those, you can turn them into Chandler High. You can also turn them into your counselors at the junior highs. Um, and then we will follow up. So before um, the end of the year, we'll, we will follow up with anyone that turns in an application and we'll look into that student and make sure that they're the right fit for AVID um, and make sure that they're gonna benefit from that program. And we will let you know either way. Yes, you've been accepted to the AVID program or I'm sorry, it's not a right fit at this time. And then if you are accepted, then your counselor would make sure to add AVID to your schedule for next year. So again, if you have any questions, my name is Heather Dyke. Um, there's my email, um, and I'll be out in the foyer after the presentation. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.
Thank you, Heather. One of the most important things that your incoming student can do to ease the transition from junior high is to get involved in activities, clubs, or sports. We know that students who are involved feel a greater connection to their school and are more successful as a result. I want to have Mr. Michael Gray, our student council advisor, come up now to talk about Stugo, as well as the Link Crew, which connects our upperclassmen with our new wolves. Good evening. I, uh, my name is Michael Gray, and I am a Spanish teacher by trade, but I have the privilege of being involved with Link Crew program. Uh, that program consists of junior and senior students that want to give back to the school in a way with uh, helping out our incoming freshman students. Uh, they are link leaders that provide different activities throughout the first semester of that freshman year. One of the biggest highlights or biggest events that we offer is something called freshman orientation. That is an event that does happen before the first day of, of class, um, typically the day before or two days before, depending on uh, the calendar. Uh, there will be information being sent out about freshman orientation in a big summer mailing that will go out to every eighth grader that signed up for Chandler High School. Uh, at that freshman orientation, uh, we will be providing the day-long day worth of activities. We start off with the big uh, assembly, and then uh, students will be broken up into smaller groups. We'll be able to leave uh, the area, get to know the campus. There's a big tour. Um, there is a small group pr program where our link leaders kind of help uh, our new students kind of start thinking about what it means to be successful at Chandler High School. Um, it is a, a full morning of events, and it is uh, definitely proven that students that attend freshman orientation have a very successful day, uh, first day at Chandler High School. So I would definitely encourage you to be looking out for information with that. Uh, on our Chandler High School website, we do have a link crew page that will also have all that information contained. Probably when we come back from spring break, we'll get that updated for you. Uh, link crew page will be found under the activities, or excuse me, under the programs tab on the Chandler High School uh, webpage. I, I also uh, am privileged to be one of the co-sponsors for Student Council, and we do have a freshman class uh, set of officer positions for, for Student Council. Uh, it really is important for you to note that if your child is interested in being a part of that, it is a um, selection process. We do have, uh, like I said, positions for the freshman class. Uh, however, in order for us to be fully prepared to start the school year, we do make our selections for the incoming freshman student council officers before the end of the school year. We usually do that right about May. Um, and we will have information on the Chandler High School website, the student council page as well. Um, and then we also do have information on the junior high campuses um, our feeder schools about information on what that looks like. There is an online application process. I'm, I'm really uh, proud of our process. We also offer a group interview for those students um, that helps us get to know the, the candidate, the applicant, and then we do also have uh, like a teacher recommendation component as well. So that, that is uh, kind of the, the process and the program that we do that, but it's important to know that we want to choose our freshmen before the end of the year so that when the school year starts, we already know who our freshman officers are, okay? And again, we do have all that information that will be posted on the Student Council webpage and also the Link Group page if you're interested in professional orientation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gray. Finally, before we release you to visit with our instructors, if you haven't already, we want to thank you for choosing Chandler High School, if you have already, if you have already made your decision. For those of you who are not quite sure yet, we hope that your visit here tonight will solidify your decision to join the family here at the home of the wolves. Thank you for attending, and please enjoy your evening. Drive safely. Done.